All right, welcome back to Blue Pen Land. So uh, this one says it's the same problem, right? Uh, we've already calculated how much gravity is down the plane and into the plane, right? Those, those numbers are down here. Um, so we use those accurate versions of those. And actually, I'm going to use versions that I've stored on my calculator. This thing says what force and what direction will prevent it from accelerating down the plane. Well, uh, it's a frictionless plane. So relentlessly, this parallel component of gravity, right, the mg sine theta, this, this force of... Uh, 12.0976 newtons is acting down the plane, right? Now, there is no friction force, so it seems to me to keep it from accelerating down the plane, we've got to have an equal but opposite force, right? So let's make these guys equal, and this is up the plane 12.0976, okay? Whatever that parallel force is, you've got to have that same force up the plane. Now, interestingly enough, so there's our answer, right? Just upon inspection, we have it, right? Uh, interestingly enough, that doesn't mean it, do, it can't move up or down the plane, right? This force up the plane just means that it's not accelerating. It could move at a constant speed up or down the plane or be at rest. Either case, it's not accelerating. I like those kinds of problems.